Hi you guys, Lufok here and welcome to another FIFA 19 player review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 94 rated team of the season, Ilicic. His cards looks insane and he did cost me 125,000 coins and in the four games that I played him with, he scored me four goals and got me two assists and he does have a freeze the week for as well as four star skill moves. Moving along into the game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 99 shot power, his 99 long shots, his 99 ball control and finally his 95 vision and I did have the Hawk chemistry style applied to this team of the season. And Illicit cards, and I just can't believe there's 125,000 coins for a 94 rated team of the season attacker. In my opinion, is just insane. Is he the most perfect looking card in FIFA? No, he is. He's got terrible jumping, his balance doesn't look fantastic, his pace is kind of average, but apart from that, he looks insane. Like shooting wise, passing wise, most of his dribbling stats look pretty awesome, and even his strength stats as well look pretty decent. Um, so it, it's just an insane card. Obviously, the free stoic foot and the four star skill moves aren't too bad either. Now I did choose to play this guy as a can. There's a variety of positions you can play him as. You can play him as a centre forward, a striker or as a cam and uh, because of the 93 passing and how good his passing stats are, I thought he was just best suited as a cam um, but, but there's no doubt after using this guy he can play as a striker but I think if you want to use him as a striker you're probably best putting on something like the shadow chem style or the, the hunter chem style just to give him an insane pace boost because even though the whole chem style increases his pace a little bit it's not enough pace increase to go and use him as a striker. So obviously the Hunter Chem style and the Shadow Chem style apply the biggest pace boosts. If you're going to use him as a striker, make sure you put one of those Chem styles onto him um, because I think pace, he definitely needs increasing as a striker. But anyway, talking about the pros um, for using him as a Cam, his first one will be his finishing four goals in the four games was very good indeed from the Cam position. Uh, his long shots, his shot power, both at 99. His finishing at 94, sorry, his finishing at 90 that goes up to 94 and his uh, positioning is at 92 which goes up to 97 with the whole chemistry style. Also his volume Please go up to 99 as well. And uh, yeah, he was insane. Scored goals on his left foot, right foot. He scored a couple bangers for me, or at least one bang on his left foot, which is just insane. Um, but yeah, his finishing from inside the box and like from outside of it was both fantastic. And you know, his stats are just absolutely insane for that position. I just can't believe a guy that costs just over 100,000 coins. And you know what? We'll probably actually, if anything, go down in price more um, because obviously that's typical what the, the team season cards have done. They'll often get cheaper as the week goes on. And you could be paying for, for a Syria, and the Syria is no small league. It's one of the biggest leagues and one of the most popular leagues this FIFA. And you can have an attack on your team a 99 shot power and 99 long shots that barely costs 100k and is very very easy to come by at this stage of FIFA which I think is just absolutely insane but I also think you know, at, this, at this stage of FIFA it's fun to have players that are so awesome and have amazing stats and an awesome rating and it doesn't even cost that much which is just insane so uh, yeah finishing wise though that's being a, a good part of the card. His second pro as well will be his passing he got me two assists in the four games Um, I have a thing with cams recently where I just don't seem to get a lot of assists with them when using them Um, but hey listen he got me six goal contributions in the four games i'm not going to complain about what that uh, with that whatsoever because i still think his his passing is still insane and well suited and well suited for the camp position the 95 uh, vision the 95 shot power the 86 long passing as well just perfect stats most of them all in the 90s and his curve and uh, and long passing both being in the uh, the high 80s but uh Again, you'll see in the clips, and I'm sure I say this like almost every single time now when I'm using when I'm using cam cards. He could have got me on another day even more assists. You know, he provided some excellent through balls to to, to Eusebio and Crespo who was just playing in behind them, and um, yeah, for me just fantastic uh, passing stats. And one thing that you wouldn't really notice too much, you know, if using him as a striker, you wouldn't get that benefit so much of the good passing. Um, but you can definitely see that a lot more when using him as a cam, and he just. For me, he just plays that position. He's just got a card that's just a bit more well balanced for the striker position. His stats are just more geared towards being better as a cam, and um, you know, in, in passing, certainly going to get a benefit with that whilst using him in the cam position. His final pro as well will actually be his dribbling. Now he has only got 65 balance, which is very poor, but at the same time, you don't notice it too much. And the reason being, he's got 82 agility, which is at the same time not insane, but it's fine. But he's got the 99 ball control and the 97 dribbling, which makes his dribbling just feel so much better and actually it means that his uh, balance isn't that much noticeable. Obviously, if that dribbling wasn't so high and if that agility wasn't in the 80s, then you would see a little bit of a problem with his dribbling. But actually, I wouldn't let that balance put you guys off the cards whatsoever because I didn't notice it to be an issue at all. And uh, I think you can probably put chemistiles to increase balance, maybe. 
I think there are, there are a few chemists, as I can't remember which one exactly. Maybe the artist chemist just dealt with increases balance, but um, I still think it's fine even at 65 because of how good the rest of the dribbling stats are. Balance actually doesn't being, uh, doesn't end up being that much of an issue for you guys. But overall, it's a really good card. I thought pace-wise as well, he wasn't too bad for the camp position. Again, if I'm using him as a striker, though, I would like to put something like a, a Hunter chem style onto him just to make sure his pace goes into the 90s. His strength as well for a chem was pretty awesome. That goes up to 90 with the physical. Um, yeah, with the whole chem style, his strength in the physical stack goes up to 90 as well, which is pretty awesome. It's just all in all a really, really good Syria cam for great value of coins. And in my opinion, yes, he might not be able to the easy to link up in terms of nationwide. You're probably going to have to fit him into a team of icons or Syria players, but I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are running teams like that. And in my opinion, this is a card that is definitely worth buying. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.